Mr. Wong. Yep. Hi, Mr. Tan. Hi, yes. Sure, come on in. So, how do you find the house? I love it. Today. I'm so happy and I found my dream house and I want to buy it. Okay, great. I'll liaise with the seller's lawyer to prepare the necessary documentation. Thereafter, I will lodge a caveat on your behalf. Oh, a caveat? What's that? Okay, a caveat is a legal document lodged at SLA to protect your interests. This is to prevent the seller from selling the property you are interested in to other interested parties without your knowledge. Oh, is that, is that all? No, it also serves as an announcement to everybody who searches the property title that you are interested in the property. Oh, okay, that's good. Thanks. No problem. Hmm, what's all this? Yeah, bills, bills, bills. Oh, look, I better reserve tickets to this party. And SLA? What would SLA send me a letter? Caveat notice? What's a caveat notice? Lodged by some caveat number, caveat door, don't need to... What? No, 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 I think I better go find out about this. Good morning, sir. How can I help you today? Ah, I received a letter from SLA. Can you tell me what this is? Yes, this is a caveat notice. Did you recently buy or sell property? I'm selling my property, yes. Right. So this caveat notice is given to the owner of the property to inform him that a caveat has been lodged. In this case, the caveator is the buyer. So that means that if you sold the property to this buyer, then you do not have to take any further action. I see. So, this is just a notice? That's right. Alright, that's uh... No further action required. I see. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day.